Hey guys, today we are unboxing the November 2019 Keto Crate. I'm so excited, I finally have a code with Keto Crate. If you want $10 off your very first crate, use the link in the description down below. And let's get into this. Oh, they've included a Thanksgiving survival guide. Oh, that is soups cute. What sort of stuff does it have on here? Oh, it's about like how to make like keto swaps and stuff like that. Well, thank you, Keto Crate. And I do see they have Outer Isle Gourmet cauliflower sandwich thins featured in this thing. You guys, Outer Isle Gourmet was one of my favorite products ever to discover at KetoCon. And I was literally, and I mean literally thinking about them today and how I was gonna buy them the next time I was ordering online. And bam, there is a coupon for Outer Isle Gourmet, 15% off. I will 100% be taking my 15% off of Outer Isle Gourmet. These are cauliflower thins. They make like sandwiches. They make little pizzas. They got a bunch of different flavors. They have Italian, they have original, they have jalapeno. You know what I'm talking about. And these things are just delicious and they're only like one net carb per thin. I am here for it. I mean, I was literally just thinking about this, so I'm so glad that I get to get 15% off. Oh my gosh, we're getting right into it, yay! The first item, oh my gosh, I also saw this at KetoCon, is this Strawberry Nut Butter Fat Bomb. What is the name of this company? It's like something in the mountains, like they're, oh, Fat Fit Go, yeah. They're actually like headquartered in the mountains somewhere. Um, this is Strawberry Lime Nut Butter. I don't like fruit flavored things that like aren't fruit, uh, but I am interested to try this. So in this packet, there are 200 calories, 18 grams of fat, five total carbs, three fibers. So that's two net carbs and five grams of protein. I know that my BFF Chella, AKA Foodie Turn Sleevey, absolutely loved this. I don't think I even tried it because I'm like, eh, this, you know, it's not my jam, but she loves it. So apparently it tastes great. Next we have, <laughs> Salami whips, <laughs> Black Castle salami whips. And like these are so interesting looking. Like they're like Slim Jims, but folded because they're whips. I mean, this is at least interesting to me. Like 250 calories for this whole package, one gram of carbs for this whole package, 20 grams of fat and 17 protein. I mean, this is so interesting. I might actually have to try these, even though we all know meat sticks aren't my thing, but I mean, if you want me to try a meat stick, put it in the shape of a whip. Thank you very much. All right, we got Fat Snacks Lemony Lemon. You know, I've kind of just come around on lemon flavored things. I used to vehemently hate them, but now I'm just like, you know what? A lemon cake, not so bad. Lemon cookie, maybe not so bad. Uh, two servings per container because one serving is one cookie, but I'm eating both of these. Okay, but for one cookie, there are eight grams of fat, six total carbs. No, that's not bad for a cookie. Six total carbs, two fiber, three sugar alcohol. So one net carb per cookie. I'm definitely eating both of these. Uh, and then two grams of protein. Generally, I do like fat snacks. Um, they honestly just taste like every pre-made keto cookie out there, which is very almond flowery, so I'll be interested to see how lemony this actually is. Okay, we have Keto Crave Energy Bar, cacao almond from Zenwise Health. Never heard of it. I'm excited, five net carbs per bar. Eh, that seems like a lot, but I mean, I'm okay with it. Five carbs is usually my limit. One bar is 210 calories, 16 grams of fat, 13 total carbs, eight fiber, no sugar alcohol, so that is okay. And then nine grams of protein. I am always down for discovering a new bar that I like, so I'm excited to give this a try. Um, speaking of that, we have Norty, Norty, low carb classic chocolate bar. Oh, now this is gonna be interesting. Now, I really haven't heard of this. It's just a chocolate bar by Biotech Bodies Australia. I don't know if I want my food being made by a company that has tech in the name, but you know, that's okay. Serving size is one bar, 180 calories, 17 grams of fat, 18 total carbs, fiber, fiber, that gets us to 13, and there are 12 sugar alcohols. So that's only one net carb per bar. Oh, these might be sweet. Okay, three grams of protein. I'm always here for finding a new chocolate bar. So let's see how that goes. Yay, we have protein croutons, 
by Shrewd Food, Parmesan Herb. I love Shrewd Food. They are just like a protein puff company. I love their cheddar. I love their sweet flavors. So I probably have no doubt that I'm going to love these protein croutons. These are probably just like all their other puffs, but flavored in Parmesan. So you can put them on top of a salad. There ain't nothing wrong with that. For one container, 60 calories, two grams of fat, two grams of carbs, and 10 proteins. So two net carbs. I mean, I probably honestly only use half of this on a salad, but I am 100% here to try these. Oh my gosh, yay, we have hecka good foods. I've seen these all over Instagram and I was like, I want a hecka good bar and now I got me a hecka good bar. I'm very excited, one net car per bar, that's what's up. This is the chocolate chunk cookie dough bar. I am, I am really excited to try this. I was actually gonna reach out to them and be like, yo, hook your girl up with some bars because I want to taste them and talk about them. But now I got one in the keto crate. That is why I love the keto crate. They read your mind. Did you know that? Did you know the keto crate was psychic and it knows what you want and it delivers it to your door? What? So for one bar, it's 200 calories, 15 grams of fat, 24 total carbs, seven fiber, three sugar alcohol, and then there's some allulose in this as well, which is how they get to one net carb. You guys, even though I might like this, I would be skeptical AF about like the blood sugar impacts. Depending on if I like the taste, I might do a, a blood glucose test, but you can't just be throwing all this erythritol, all this allulose in there. I'm not convinced, but I look forward to trying it out. I'll tell you that. Uh, and 11 grams of protein. I am excited for this. Next, yay, we have Primal Noms Pumpkin Spice Mug Cake. Now, I received a Primal Noms packet in either a previous keto crate or at a meetup and this stuff is so good like i didn't even know pre-made mixes were out there but it's just like a mug cake mix and all you gotta do is put some butter and an egg in a mug and mix it and there you go like i am here for the ease of use so as prepared when you mix everything into it it is 390 calories 36 grams of fat 28 total carbs four fiber, 22 sugars, but that's allulose. I mean, everybody's getting on this allulose train. Like, I guess I really need to see what effect it has on my blood sugar uh, and 11 grams of protein. Wow, allulose is the first ingredient. That, that says a lot. Um, I look forward to trying this. I'm not sure if I would buy it. The owners of this company, Matt and Allie, are super cute. I'm super here for them. I actually have a code for Primal Noms. I don't know what it is. I may put it right here. I may just put a link in the description box below but i think i made like a chocolate one that i received and i loved it so i was happy to get a code with them and i'm excited to try this pumpkin spice oh crispy cuts field trip get out there crispy cuts pork rinds sweet chipotle i have never heard of the brand crispy cuts but i'd be lying if i didn't say i love the name i love that name one gram carbohydrates per serving Better be one serving per bag, two servings per container. Nope. I'm eating this all at the same time, but for one serving, which is half this bag, six grams of fat, one carb, and seven grams of protein. I like pork rinds. I love the Meyer brand of pork rinds just fine, but I'm always here for some different flavored pork rinds, so I look forward to giving these a try. Ooh, we have Sinless Raw 85% dark chocolate sea salt pecan. One net carb per serving, so this is just like a chocolate bar. Okay. And I am loving this ornate packaging. You see how that gold glistens right there? What? Okay, it says guilt-free indulgence, sinlessraw.com. I mean, I'm not going to lie. That just takes my mind way somewhere else, but I mean, does not take it to raw superfood. I'll tell you that. I'm digging this envelope style packaging. It says raw superfood, no artificial sweeteners, no dairy, no soy, no gluten, zero digestive upset, antioxidants equal to 30 cups of spinach, appetite suppressant, diabetic friendly. Wow, that's, a, that's promising a lot here in this uh, candy bar. Let's see. There are two servings per container, but for one serving, which is half of this, there are 14 grams of fat, 12 total carbs, two fiber, and nine 
erythritol. So that takes it up to 11. So one net carb per serving. Okay. And one gram of protein. Once again, I love me a chocolate bar and I will definitely try this sea salt pecan chocolate bar. Okay. Send this raw. And then, oh, I was going to say finally, but I was wrong. Second to finally, we got Bunker Hill. What are these? Oh, Buffalo crunchy cheese crisps. I am here for the cheese crisps. I am here for spicy things. Um, you know, this is just your regular cheese crisps. If you have cello wisps, listen to that noise. Jeez Louise. I don't expect these to be any different, but I do love the buffalo flavor. So I'm, I'm excited to try these. And then finally, we have a buff bake fuel bar plus MCT. If you plus MCT, that's gotta make it keto, right? All right, it's because it says it right on the package. Peanut butter cacao. So it says four grams of net carbs per bar. Serving size is one bar, 220 calories, 14 grams of fat, 17 total carbs, 13 fiber. Yeah, the second ingredient is prebiotic fiber syrup. I don't know, man. 13 grams of fiber taking us to four net carbs. 12 grams of protein. So the ingredients, peanut butter, prebiotic fiber syrup, peanut pieces, pea protein, pea protein crisps, cacao nibs, peanut flour, glycerin, natural flavors, peanut oil, MCT powder, sea salt, monk fruit extract. I mean, I don't trust this on a blood sugar scale, you know, further than I can throw it, but I am gonna try it out. I will tell you that. Overall, I really enjoyed this month's Keto Crate. Some things that I'm excited to try some things, well, and some things I've been looking forward to by name, some things that I've already had and know that I love. I mean, I just really enjoy the variety of the Keto Crates. Even better, you can win one for free. I'm also doing a giveaway. Comment down below. Let me know which one of these items you would be most excited to try, or if you've tried one, which one is your favorite. And I'll be doing a drawing over on my next video. Last month, I started a series with my mom called Smash the Crate, where we actually go through and try every single product in the Keto Crates. It's one thing to talk about them and to guess how you'd like it, but it's another thing to actually try all this stuff and, and see how it really is. So I love that series. So leave a comment here. We'll draw the winner over there. And that video will be coming out in about a week or so. But once again, if you don't wanna wait, I don't wanna wait. If you don't wanna leave it up to chance, Use the link below to get $10 off your very first Keto Crate. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly Keto Crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next month.